Cody talks about the gun as a way to express your political will, as an, uh, sort of an alternative way to vote. Guns are still important because politics is still important. So yeah, what I'm saying there is uh, not that other people's different politics are important, but the fact that like politics as an idea is still important. And guns are uh, a certain admission of the reality of the political. The threat of the use of violence. That's power, that's political power. If you can download this and use this, your vote means a little bit more. Or indeed, you have a different kind of vote. What I've probably come to realize far more is that the threat of guns is actually more, quote unquote, dangerous to governments than maybe, specifically in the United States, than um, the actual having of them because they're they're everywhere in the U.S. The fact that we have these like, oh, like these... Uh, debates and conversations of like just taking little parts off of guns and everything when there's like hundreds of millions and lots of people know how to make these little pieces that they're trying to, you know, outlaw. Um, so I think definitely what changed over these last 10 years regarding the politics of guns was how ineffective they actually are and how they don't really reflect a large majority of the people they're trying to um, govern, if you will. Yeah, and I know that behind the Defense Distributed Headquarters, they've got a little gravestone that has gun control emblazoned on it. So that's their idea is gun control is dead. We killed it in America. You know, guns are so tied to American political culture, but of course they have use out, they have political use outside of our borders. And you had a whole segment that was devoted to that idea. Like the freedom fighters we are, we thought to ourselves, you know what, we're going to do it. We're going to try to take up the mantle. The whole idea of, of, of our work is to enable the everyday common man around the world, wherever he may be, to produce entire firearms. The shift from symbolic to practical. You reach a point in being pro-gun where you stop caring about the Second Amendment and you realize that being armed is a human right. Every part in the assembly can be purchased in Europe or can be ordered from China. Almost as easy, if not easier than IKEA furniture. People are building FGC nets in Brazil, in New Zealand, in Australia, everywhere. And they're posting pictures and videos there and People are sharing their ideas and gun control is fucking dead. A lot of things Cody was doing at the beginning were, you know, performance art in a way. Uh, those are my words, right? They were symbolic. They were, um, they were to really ri like get people riled up and understand that we we're entering a new era of like digital performance, if you will. And at that point, there was a lot of other creators, engineers, makers that started putting their creations online in a far more visible fashion. And even though it's still a pretty niche uh, environment, it definitely has exploded with different groups and different kind of like known figures and YouTube channels. And we'll see how long those channels stay up. Hey, thanks for watching that clip from my interview with Jessica Solche about her new documentary on Cody Wilson, Death Athletic. You can watch the full interview right here.